all right so let us learn from the scratch how to calculate the risk and return parameters for stocks uh, starting from the scratch all right so first uh, we will identify four stocks on which we can uh, collect the data from internet and also compute the return risk parameters so the stocks that i will be working on now would be uh, tata motors hdfc limited tcs polo hospitals you can choose any stocks i'm just selecting these four stocks and the return risk parameters that i will be calculating for the real stocks would be we'll calculate return by way of taking the mean mean return mean monthly returns we can calculate and we can calculate the risk using the variance and the standard deviation we will also calculate what is called as coefficient of variation okay which is uh, also referred to as risk to return ratio all right we'll do this calculation now so before that we need the stock price data so uh, i will select the stock price historical data i will download that through yahoo finance so go to your internet browser type yahoofinance.com so the very first screen that you get is yahoo finance and you can type the stock name or the uh, symbol if you already know for example let me start with tata motors so i get these two uh, tata motors limited equity nsi this means uh, national stock exchange listed uh, tata motors uh, ttm is also there that means tata motors is also listed in new york stock exchange so we don't want that tata motors is also listed in bse okay so that also i'm not taking so i'm taking the first one equity nsi of tata motors limited click on that and uh, as you can see lot of information is given here click on the historical data click on the historical data all right i will select the last 5 years monthly data that is what is my sample that i am going to be collecting so forget about all the dates and all that simply click on 5 years data you click on 5 years this will automatically take the dates so as you can see it is taken from 17th may of 2017 to 17th may of 2022 and i am taking the historical prices as i told you i will click on the monthly option so click apply and then download so it it downloads a csv file here uh click on that so as you know uh the csv file is giving me open prices high prices for each of the month low price close price and adjusted close and i generally use the adjusted close prices for all my analysis the difference between close price and adjusted closes adjusted close prices adjusted for the dividends that have been declared or any stock split that might have happened okay as you know stock split and dividends will bring down the stock price while it is not going to affect the investor return therefore adjusted close is the uh, you know column or the data that i will be using for my Uh, calculation so what we can do is we can uh, select these dates dates column i'm going back to my excel sheet here and i'm inserting them or you can just say enter so my dates column is entered then take this copy enter okay and let us rename this as tatam okay this is the name that i am giving tata motors so now i have from 1st june 2017 till 1st may 2022 this is the beginning of each month stock is given so latest available month is may 2022 as when i am making this main video so we have the stock prices that to for 60 months i have the data for tata motors now we have to fill for other stocks also like hdfc so like hdfc i have to fill i have to uh, collect the data for uh, tcs and i have to collect the data for apollo hospital correct and just say abh right so let's repeat the process this is copied so i'll close this uh come back here to the sheet so you can go to uh, in fact this time you don't have to search here you can search here itself there is a search option here you can search here itself we need hdfc 
okay uh, hdfc bank limited is available here nsi nsc stock prices so take hdfc bank limited historical data uh, by default the date is selected already monthly selected simply apply and download so csv file opens open this take the dates will anyways be the same so i don't have to copy the date i'll just copy adjust it close and paste here okay so this would be hdfc bank okay uh, sorry i said hdfc limited but i think now hdfc limited and hdfc bank are merged so we only have hdfc bank uh, tcs so let me close this again let me close this go back to yahoo finance tcs uh, i hope all of you are following what i'm doing darshna arvind ask me yes sir okay uh, i'm recording this and i'm going to share this with you so in case if you have any doubt you can always so tcs have downloaded historical data date is fine monthly click on apply click on download another csv opens take the adjusted close paste it here so tcs all right and uh, let's go to this sheet let us close this come back here go a little further up again type apollo hospitals yeah apollo hospitals enterprises limited yes in sci and uh, date is fine apply and download copy this paste here apollo hospital enterprises limited okay this is my stock name i have the stock okay let's close this okay so now what do we have we have the four stocks here okay now what we need to calculate is we need to calculate the monthly returns okay monthly returns again as you know how do you calculate monthly return for example for the month of june 2017 you for tata motors the prices are given how do we calculate the return um, you know you you know, you know that you, have, you take the current price minus the beginning price divided by the beginning price isn't it okay so essentially what you would do is 444 0.6 minus 432.5 divided by 432.5 correct so divided by 432.5 this is how you calculate the return right so for the month of june 2017 this stock has given a return of 2.79% right now the same thing we can calculate in a simple way okay let me say uh, tata m rit okay uh just go to leave one space here come down here here you can mention you can put the same formula whatever formula that we wrote earlier like 444.6 minus 432.55 divided by 432.55 you can put that you'll still get the same answer generally what i do is i take 444.6 divided by 432.5 minus 1 this also will give you the same return so what is the formula now current price that is latest price divided by uh, beginning price minus of 1 okay this gives you the return for that particular stock for that month okay that's all you have to do let us create hdfc bank rit another column and uh, tcs rit another column ahl rit another column okay i have the four columns all you have to do now is you can just copy this to the right hand side i'm using control r button okay or you can copy paste i mean i leave it to you and then you select hold the control shift button control shift button select oh sorry you can't do that because no problem let us select all the 60 rows here till here and you can use control d or you can say control c control e is also fine but control d is the easier so paste it so as you can see your returns are calculated if you want to see them in percentages yes you can do that just say control shift percentage button you can see it in percentage yeah okay so we have the monthly returns of all the four stocks 
we have the monthly returns of all the four stocks. Let me freeze this cell. Let me do freeze pains. Yeah. So we have the monthly returns of all the four stocks and we don't need the stock price column. So I will hide this, not deleting, hiding. Okay, so we have this. Now let us calculate the average return. Average return. So you know the functions in Excel. So you can simply calculate average, average, select the whole column. You can just select till here, enter. So average monthly return. In fact, you can write it here. Average monthly return of Tata Motors is average monthly return of Tata Motors is 1.3 percentage. All right. Now let us select the uh, let's calculate the uh, monthly variance monthly variance. Okay. For that you can use the function VAR. Okay. VAR of the same data set. Okay. Close the bracket. So one monthly variance is 3.1 percent. You can calculate the monthly standard deviation. Standard deviation. So I want to just copy this, make it easy. Okay, and uh, paste it here. Instead of VAR formula, I will use. Uh, sorry, I will use STDEV formula. Okay, STDEV of the return array. So that's it. So you can convert this also into percentage with one decimal. Okay, this is my monthly standard deviation. Okay, and uh, you can annualize all of them. So you can say annual return. In simple form, if you were to analyze, you can simply multiply both of them by this by 12. Okay, and the annual variance can be calculated by multiplying the variance by 12. Okay, so annual variance and annual return is calculated like this. Okay, uh, annual standard deviation. Now here you have to be a little careful. Do not multiply the standard deviation by 12. Instead, as you know, standard deviation is a square root of variance. Okay, in fact, you could have seen here also, you can take the square root, SQRT is the function in Excel, square root of variance will be your standard deviation. Okay, so use that SQRT of the annual variance. That would be around 145 percentage. That is the standard deviation of annualized standard deviation of Tata Motors. All right. So this information, once you have calculated, what you can do is copy this control R or paste it right words. This becomes your written and variance and standard deviation calculations. All right. Now you can also calculate coefficient of variation, coefficient of variation, also called CV or risk return ratio. That would be standard deviation by written. Okay. So standard deviation divided by written. Okay. Now this is expressed as a decimal, not as a percentage. Okay. Copy this again, right side. So you get coefficient of variation as 9.04, 7.17, 3.5 and 3.91. Using CV, how do you interpret the CV coefficient of variation? The one which has the lowest ratio uh, is a good stock in terms of its uh, optimization of the risk and return. That is giving you the least risk for the kind of return that it is generating. Okay, in this case, I see that TCS is a better stock compared to all other stocks. The second rank goes to uh, AHEL third rank goes to HDFC and fourth rank goes to Tata Motors. All right. I hope this was clear to you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you.